Donny, don't trust him. He's just trying to break us up. I promise you, I did nothing wrong. I love you and I love baby Kyla and I would just never do... Just stop talking, do... stop talking. I don't want to listen to this anymore. You know what? I want you out of this palace. What? Get out of here. Just get out of my palace and stay away from me for a while because I don't know what's going on. You lied to me about Logan and he's lied to me about you and you lied to me about everything. Just get out of here and just leave no. me alone for a few days. Bye. Get out of here. Bye. Donny... Oh, I don't believe it. It already has been two days and little Donnie didn't even come visit me. He didn't call me. Nothing. I feel so upset. Why doesn't he not trust me? The only mistake that I made is not tell him about Logan straight away. But he gotta understand. It didn't mean anything. And it was way before we started dating. And I didn't know that's his cousin. Logan is just so evil. He's trying to ruin our family and he's succeeding. I mean, look at us now. Donnie kicked me out and I'm back in this candy house. I can see baby Kyle. I can see him. I'm so sick of it. I think I just need to go and talk to Donnie. Hopefully the two days were enough for him to calm down. And hopefully he misses me too. Oh, I just cannot believe that this is happening to us. Everything used to be so great. And the second Logan moved in, it all went bad. Cannot believe it. He's just so evil. We need to get rid of him. But how? I mean, Donnie doesn't trust me anymore. I just need to uh, beg him. I don't know. Promise him I will never lie to him ever again. It was such a silly mistake. Why did I lie? I should have just said the truth to him straight away. Oh my gosh, I miss him so much and I miss baby Kyla and her family. We just need to get rid of that Logan. He's no good. He's trying to do everything possible to break us up. Donnie, are you there? Oh my gosh, I hope he's not sleeping and I hope that he's gonna hear me out and listen to what I have to say. Leah, what's going on? Where have you been for the last two um, days? Hi, Donny. Um, I was in the candy house. Can we talk for a few minutes, please? Please hear me out. Don't throw me out again, please. Okay, no, I'm not going to throw you again. I'm, I'm so sorry for kicking you out the other day. I was just so angry when you told me that you dated Logan and you lied to me about it. And I, I was going to go look for you in the candy house and I'm so okay, glad you came back. Okay, let's just talk in the room. Um, so, Donny, do you believe me that I didn't cheat on you? Uh, well, just tell me from the start what's going on, okay? okay I mean, well, Logan came along, he's my cousin, and then what happened from there? Because okay, I'm so Donnie. confused about everything. So, the second I saw Logan, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the boy I went out with. Remember when me and you were single and we were yeah. still not together? We made those online dating profiles? Yeah, I remember. Well, yeah. I met the, him maybe two or three times for coffee and for nice walks, and I after that I broke it off because I didn't like him and I really loved you at the time so I said you know what I'm just gonna be with Donnie okay so what it. happened when he moved so, in here why didn't you tell me straight away because Donnie I know how jealous you get and I was so scared that you're gonna overreact and I was thinking he's your cousin and I didn't want you to fight with your cousin so anyway when myself and Logan went into town he kept flirting with me and kept asking me if I like him back and for us to go on a date together even though me and you are married and of course I was saying no and that's why I was crying and really upset and one and time and did he try and kiss you as well yes one time oh he even kissed gosh, me oh my gosh I'm so angry at that guy so what's he saying about seeing you on a date in town with some that guy that never happened Donnie you gotta trust me he's making all of this up just to break us up don't you understand yeah I understand now now I believe everything it was just so confusing when he was saying all these lies to me about you I know. cheating on me with some other guy in the city but the whole time it was just him trying to break us up exactly. so we could get with you but Donnie like from now on you should be trusting me your wife I mean I know I made a mistake I should have told you about Logan straight away but you gotta understand me as well he's your cousin and I didn't want you guys to fight and I Absolutely. thought that maybe he's gonna be nice and I trust him don't you him. worry from now on I'm always gonna believe you I'm sorry I didn't at the start but it was just so confusing I didn't know what was going on but you know what that guy has had his time here I don't care he's my cousin I don't care of his family he's getting kicked out of this palace straight away i agree with you donny i think it's better if he moves out and i don't think he, he should be allowed even to stay in the village he should go and get his own place far far away from us because he's never gonna stop 
absolutely. We're going to kick him out of the whole kingdom. He can go live in the city and go to college in there, and I never want to see him again. Exactly, but, me First neither. of all, we've got to find him because I was just up in his bedroom. He's not over here. What? So I don't know oh. where he is. That's weird. Okay, um, Logan, Logan. Baby Kyle and Baby Hugo are over in the treehouse. I think Mum and Dad the went Logan. to the shops. Is he in oh, there? Donnie, no, he's not here. Maybe he's out. I'm going to check the kitchen. When I find that guy, I'm just going to kick him straight out of this palace. There's no yeah. way he can stay here. Yes, I agree. He is a lot of trouble and all he's trying to do is just to break our family apart. we got to find him and kick him out of this place straight Logan, away. I don't want him talking to Baby Kyle or Baby Hugo nope. or Mama Dad or anybody. I know, he's here? just so evil. Jeff, I can't believe you have an Logan evil anywhere? cousin. Oh, he's not in here. Mm, maybe in the game room? Over could here be in the by game the room, or he could Logan, be in the gym. Where are you, Logan? I we bet know you he's you're out around. planning something the whole time. Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised, Donnie. He has it all figured out. He was probably hoping you're going to kick me out, and then he would have swept in and asked me to be his girlfriend. I mean, who does he think I am? That I told guy is him, such a creep. I told him so many times that me and you are married, and we have a baby, and I love you so much, and he still thinks that he has a chance. There's no way he's going to get away with this. Come on, let's go check on the gym. And then, you know what I was thinking as well? What? He, we got him a laptop for his room. And every yeah. time I walk in there, he's always looking at this other screen. What? This computer screen. I'm just thinking, That's what weird. is going on? It's really, really strange. Mm, I don't know. Maybe he got another screen just to watch movies Logan, or something? Logan, what's going on? We got to talk. Logan, where are you? He's not in here either. Maybe he's around the village. We got to find him and tell him to get out. I'm just going right to go back away. up and check in his bedroom. I want to know what's going on with that. Okay, let's that go and pack for him. Screen. So yeah. when he comes over, everything will be nice and ready for him. And that room oh will just gosh. be empty. And you know what? I'm going to turn that room back into a cinema room. Yeah, that would be lovely. Okay, let's see. Okay, taking everything yeah. from... But check out this computer here. Look, it's really, really strange. It looks like it's a monitor for security cameras. What? Yeah. But... Where does he have cameras? I mean, that's weird. Oh my gosh, was he spying on us with cameras? With secret cameras? What? Oh my gosh, we gotta check our bedrooms. Check the bedroom, quickly, quickly, no, go, go, go. please, I don't believe it, Donnie. I don't believe it. Ah, I knew he was a creep, but I didn't know he's a psycho. Okay, oh my gosh, Donnie. Look, look at there's all cameras. these cameras. There's, there's cameras in here. He was spying on us all oh this time. Oh my gosh, quickly, knock them down. See if you can get them off. Uh, no, we need an axe to knock them down. I cannot believe it, Donnie. He was spying on us all this time when we were sleeping, when we were talking. Oh my god. So that's gosh. how he knew all the information about us to make us uh, not like each other and exactly. go crazy with each other. Because he was spying on us the whole time from his bedroom. He knew everything about us. Oh, mm, Danny, I think we should call the police. I mean, yeah. he deserves to go to prison for that. That is stalking. Come, Come over here. Grab yourself a pickaxe out of his chest. We're going to go up to his bedroom and we're going to destroy the whole place. When he comes back, there's going to be nothing there for him. Oh, I like your style, Danny. But I really think we should call the police. He needs to be arrested for this. I mean... <gasps> What if he was spying on baby Kyle as well? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, Let's check just check bedroom, her room. Check her bedroom. And we never even we noticed those two. secret cameras. Let's see. No, there's no cameras here, Donnie. Everything is okay around here. Okay, <sighs> awesome. There's no cameras here. It was just us. We got those ones down there. Let's go in and take his room apart. And you know what? I'm not going to call the police. I'm just going to kick him out and tell him to never come back near us ever again. Because oh, yeah. I don't want to part of my family anymore. That's it. He's gone. He is gone. And we're going to tell your parents. And hopefully your mom is going to tell his mom. And he's going to get in so much trouble. Yeah, everyone's going to know that he put up secret cameras in our bedroom. I That's know. so creepy. It's so creepy. How dare he do something like this? You were so nice to him. And you offered him to stay here rent free and eat our food and spend our money. And this is how he repays us? I know, it's terrible. What okay, kind look. of person does this, Donnie? The have has got everything. Okay, that's his whole bedroom. It's gone. It's nothing here now. It's just an empty room. And he's going to be so upset when he comes back and see this. Oh, yeah. Should we just wait here for him? I would really love to see his face and his reaction for when he comes in. Yeah, awesome. The two of us just wait here. We'll see when he comes back. And when he comes in, we're sitting here in an empty room. We're going to tell him the situation and tell him to get out of here straight away. <laughs> My plan is working out perfectly. Donnie and Leah have broken up. She's moved out and she's living over in that little candy house. 
Donnie doesn't even know where she is. <laughs> now my next plan has to come into play. I'm gonna go over, tell Leah that Donnie never wants to see her ever again, and it's time for me and her to go on our next date. We're gonna fall in love, and we're gonna have our own family. Donnie can keep that stinky little baby Kyla. All she ever does is talk and play. I don't even like her. Me and Leah are gonna have our own brand new family and live happily ever after. Donnie and Leah, uh, what's going on with my bedroom? Uh, Donnie and Leah, why are you guys even here together? I thought you broke up. I thought you were living somewhere else, Leah. Guys, what's going on here? Hey Logan, uh, good to see you buddy. So here's the situation. You are out of here. I found out the truth of Leah. There's no way that you can get in between the two of us. She told me everything. So we smashed up your bedroom and we want you out of here right now. You don't have any time to pack. Just get out of here and don't ever come back. Yeah, Logan, how dare you lie to my husband about me? How dare you say that I cheated on him? I cannot believe how evil you are. You gotta get out right now. Also, what about those cameras? We're gonna call the police and you're gonna get into big, big trouble. Yeah, Logan, we found the secret cameras you put in our bedroom. You're such a creep. You were watching us while we sleep and getting changed and everything. Get out of here before I call the cops and you get put in prison forever. Donny, what are you talking about? We're cousins, we're family. You gotta believe me, don't believe her. She's lying to you. I saw her in the city on a date. You definitely saw her. It was a guy, she was holding hands. Donny, you gotta believe me. Please don't kick me out. No way, Logan, you had your chance. We gave you access to my palace. We gave you computers. We gave you everything you could have needed. And you came in here and you tried to break up me and my wife. So you're out of here. Stay away from us. Stay away from my family and stay away from this kingdom. Okay, Donnie and Leah, you win this. I'm gonna leave here. I'm gonna leave you alone and leave your kingdom. But I promise you, it won't be the last you hear from me. That's it, Leah. We finally <laughs> got rid of that guy. I can't believe I believed him over you. I'm oh so, so gosh. sorry. Oh my gosh, it's okay, Donnie. At least we're okay now. I know he's gone forever, but did he just threaten us? Because he kind of said this is not the last time we hear from him. What did he mean? Oh, I don't think he meant anything about that. He's probably just going to send us a Christmas card or something. I don't know. Mm. He's such a creep. He's probably just gone off and we threatened him with the police. So there's no way he's going to want to get arrested. No and you know what? Way. If I tell his mother what he's been up to, his family is probably going to kick him out as well. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Should we tell his mom? I mean, we definitely should tell your parents because your parents are going to ask uh, where he went. So we kind of have to tell him the truth. Absolutely. I'm going to definitely tell mom and dad. But let's just tell baby Kyla that uh, her uncle Logan has just uh, gone off to live somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Okay, good idea. Well, baby Kyla is in school now, so when she comes back from school, we can take her out for some dinner and some ice cream and explain the whole entire situation to her, all right? Absolutely, yeah. We can take her and baby Hugo. Maybe we can go to the restaurant and we can have a little family day out <laughs> because uh, that guy kind of caused a bit of stress between us in the last couple of days and, and baby Kyla's been missing you a lot and I just uh, told her that you were gone off with some friends okay 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 I missed her a lot as well I mean how is she even getting on in school is everything okay yeah everything's great she's got herself a little boyfriend what? his name is baby Scotty he's uh, got a little red cap on all the time he's so cool he's a nice little guy oh my gosh that is so cute I cannot wait to meet him uh, I remember when I was a baby and I had a boyfriend remember baby Doug that was so sweet oh yeah I remember baby duck that was so funny that was awesome but you know what I feel so much better now that we got Logan out of this palace now it's back to being just me and you and our mm -hmm. family and nobody else oh this is perfect Donnie this is exactly what I wanted that's why I kept asking you if he can move out but I should have told you the truth right away Donnie Absolutely, yeah. I would have believed you straight away and we could have just asked him to move out because it was too awkward and then the whole situation just got crazy. He was spying on us, he was mm -hmm. lying to me, he was tricking us the whole time but we got rid of him now and it's just back <laughs> to me and you and baby Kyla and you know what we're going to do? I what? keep on saying that we're going to have a family holiday. Yeah, <gasps> Yes, we actually need to plan it right now because I'm so sick of just saying it and saying it and saying it. We need to go upstairs and get to our computer and book some tickets already. <laughs> Absolutely, but where do you want to go? Um, Somewhere warm, I guess. Maybe with the beach, maybe a little hot on the sea. Oh, like yeah, a absolutely. water villa? We could do that and we can do some surfing and some hang gliding and we can mm -hmm. build some sandcastles with baby Kyla. We're going to have an awesome time. Also, I think we should grab baby Hugo. I mean, he's being so good babysitting baby Kyla all the time and I think they're best friends. Absolutely. We'll bring him as well. 
Maybe we should bring baby Scotty as well. I mean, we'll have to talk to his parents first, but I'm sure they won't mind. I told that stupid Donnie and Leah it wouldn't be the last they'd hear from me. Here I am at baby Kyla's baby school. I'm gonna go inside and talk to the principal and explain that Donnie and Leah had a terrible accident. They're in hospital and I'm her family and she has to come with me. I'm gonna take her to a secret place where Donnie and Leah are never gonna find her. I can hold her for ransom and I can get all of their money. <laughs> Excuse me, Principal Ryan. Hey, how you doing? My name is Logan. I'm actually little Donnie's cousin and I've been living with little Donnie and little Leah. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Donnie and Leah have been in a terrible car crash. They're both in hospital and I have to come and pick up baby Kyla and take her home. And I guess she'll be staying with me for a couple of days. Is that okay? Whoa, Logan, that sounds absolutely terrible. Poor baby Kyla is going to be so upset. I guess you better take her home for a few days. I'll let all the teachers know and the students that she won't be in school and I hope everything is going to be okay. No problem, Mr. Ryan. Thank you for being so understanding. I'll go to her class now and pick her up and I'll let her know what's going on. I'm sure she's going to be okay and Donnie and Leah are real strong. They'll pull through this. My plan is working out real good. That stupid principal didn't know anything. Now I'm gonna go down here, get baby Kyla, take her to my place, and I'm gonna hold her for ransom and get loads of money.